okay welcome to my youtube channel this is another machine learning tutorial series from the scratch uh, this is salary analysis uh, it is about it to predict uh, what amount of salary should an employee be paid according to his or her number of experience and work test score I mean, yeah, let's see, it's, it's like a test score and then there is interview score. You know, there is a handwriting test score. That's the meaning of test score. And then there is an interview score, which is, is all, it's, it's like all examination, which has the direct, uh, I mean, face to face questions between employee and employer. So this is machine learning, you know. Uh, we we had we had a, we had a, a, a sequence, or you know, we had a, a tutorial series, a different tutorial series from my ch YouTube channel. Uh, my first machine learning tutorial series was about comment prediction to detect if a comment is a spam or harm. We had a gender prediction based on name. We had a, uh it's like a sales prediction in a shop and this is my fourth tutorial series of machine learning from the scratch so if you have not uh, yet uh i mean if you have not yet uh, passed the on my other machine learning tutorial series please click on your playlist and uh, just get some some good tutorials about machine learning so this is the introduction of this tutorial series from the scratch and uh, this is uh, almost a coverage of our tutorial from the scratch so here we'll load the data handling missing values we'll make data selection we'll make data conversion concatenation of data frame exporting csv file linear regression training of linear regression dump the model using pinko dealing with a flask uh, static files in a flask uh, testing uh, testing model and conclusion so this is about uh, a coverage of a tutorial series from the scratch so stuck with me because uh, this is just a tutorial series of about 10 up to 12 videos but you will cover a lot of things you will know how to load the data this is the basic thing you need to know you will know how to export the data it means you actually you will have covered the, I mean two important operation in pandas which is loading and saving of data you learn something about linear regression you know you learn how to dump a model you learn how to deploy a model using Flask in a machine learning. You learn how to handle and check the missing values. So stuck with me. I have about a billion reasons on why you should stuck around my channel. Watch more video. Put like, put comment, and subscribe. So this is the introduction and loading of data together with the demonstration. So far, we have done an introduction that this is a salary analysis machine learning project from the from the scratch. We needed to 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 to, to make analysis, you uh, to make a prediction which amount of money should our employee be paid according to his or her performance uh, and uh, his or her years of experience on a work. So yeah, that's it. <coughs> So the second part after after finishing introduction is a project demo. So let's see how the project this is actually the final product at the end of our tutorial series. So here you put a year of experience. Let me say I have two years of experience. What's the test score? Let, let, let's say I, I scored eight and my interview was uh, Eight. So let's predict. 
now you can see this is amount i should be paid is about uh, three three hundred thousand dollars yeah something like that so here let, let me increase the years of experience let me say i have eight years of experience or let me let me put 10 years of experience first of all let me copy this amount let me copy this amount right let me let me copy it here yes uh, as you can remember years of experience 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 was to my test score my interview score interview score is also 80 so so so, so let me show you something right here you know let's say i have 10 years of experience then you have the same mass maxi of test score and interview score my reason to show you is that uh for for, for, for an employee uh, to be paid higher uh you know years of experience matters so let's see uh if machine learning can can understand it and such such important fact that uh, sometimes we need to pay our employee according to the 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 years of experience in a work so let me predict now you can see this is them this is the amount let me copy let me copy it and paste it here so let me this is amount is usd dollar oops let me usd dollars here years of experience uh, we had the ten, eight years of experience experience something like this test score was eight interview score was eight interview so here you can see this this amount is greater than this because uh, an employee an employee let, let's say this is an employee a em, employee a and this is employee b you know employee employee this is employee employee b as you can see employee b should be paid higher because of he or her years of experience in the work so machine learning as 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 human being or as we train our our, our machine to work as a human being they can predict that um an employee with with many years of experience should be paid higher uh, you know so that's that is machine learning you know so we have already actually covered a, a demonstration part of this tutorial so the last part of this tutorial series is to to start a project and the loading of our data so let me move to the desktop this is a data science my project actually i'm using for uh, saving my my data science project so inside here let's create a file a folder project folder and i'm gonna name it as salary analysis you know salary analysis we can say salary prediction whatever salary analysis or oh, let's call it salary prediction salary prediction yeah okay uh, so this is our project folder set so let me, let me copy data set from here copy my data set don't worry about data set and the uh, source code of the whole project everything will be uploaded to more tech github account so below 
video in each video description there will be a link of their asset a link of whole project source code and some few yeah description so let me copy here salary prediction I'm gonna copy here copy so this is their asset so let's open and see it how it looks like it is a first row which contain experience years years of experience there is a test score interview score and the last column is a salary which we we aim to predict it so this is how our data set is looking like so i hope you have already launched the jupyter notebook so let me move to uh, my project folder desktop data science then i'm i'm here i'm here salary prediction so let me let me let me create let me create jupyter notebook and uh, i gonna name it as as salary as salary analysis so click here to rename your jupyter salary analysis analysis so that's it so uh, this is our last part of our first tutorial series in salary analysis or salary prediction in machine learning so here what we need is importing I put comment import necessary necessary libraries 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 yeah we need to import necessary libraries so import numpy as np import import pandas as pd from pandas import read underscore csv then after import pin call import import pin call yeah something like this you know so so let, let me try to run this cell oops there is error import pandas as pd what's wrong okay import pandas as pd oops what's wrong still there is an error oh okay let me write import pandas here import import numpy as np run this cell so i hope we have just imported the necessary libraries we need in our project so after this we need to load our data set so loading data set so file name file name of our data set is hiring hiring dot dot csv csv then data is equal to read underscore csv then we pass the file name file name we want to display on our jupyter notebook then data dot head this is just to show first five rows in any in our data set so let's see how our data set looks is hiring dot csv so what we expect after learning this cell uh, we expect it to view first five rows after 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 running this cell and this is what is on our Jupyter notebook you can see uh, four columns experience test one interview score and the salary are displayed uh, on your Jupyter notebook 
So actually, this is, is an end of our first tutorial series in a salary prediction tutorial series using machine learning. Just to, to make a short summary of what we have covered in our tutorial series, uh, we have covered uh, the meaning of project. We have covered the content of project. Uh, we have covered the project demo. We have covered the loading of data set. And the one, uh, let me remind you, this is like an addition, you know. I forgot to I forgot to tell you what the what what are the requirements you need to do this project. You need PyCharm, you need the Anaconda, you need the Sublime, yes, and the Python installed in your computer. So that is about the introduction requirement project demo, uh, the coverage of our tutorial series, and the loading of our dataset. So do not miss in our next video where we'll handle missing values. As you can see here, we have missing values. So in, 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 in our second tutorial video, I'll show you a trick how to check missing values and how to handle and how to ha handle them. <laughs> So this is the end of my first tutorial series. Don't forget to like, put comment, you know, and subscribe for more video update. I need more subscribers, more likes, <laughs> more comments. So see you in my second tutorial video. Goodbye.